good morning, good morning, guys. And <clears throat> welcome, welcome into the show. We are just getting our day started. We're uh, leaving the uh, TA truck stop here now. We spent enough time in here. We had uh, about 10 and 3 quarter hours off today, so I figured, you know what, let me have a good night's sleep. It's been uh, kind of tough sleeping the last few days because of my cold and whatever, right? And so uh, I needed a little extra sleep and plus it's, you know, really, I was really exhausted, you know, especially two days really pushing it hard, right? <clears throat> and so uh, tonight I know I can stay at the customer and I calculated it out. I do have a few extra hours, so I'm good. I don't have to worry about nothing, so, uh, <clears throat> and that's one of the other reasons why I decided not to take a shower yesterday, because, uh, you know, I was really wanting to get down here. I could have taken a shower here, too, don't get me wrong, but the thing is, I didn't fuel up at the, at the TA, TA or Petra, right? So, uh, because of that, ah, uh, that's stupid four-wheeler over there instead of putting the signal light on in advance so that way I know he wanted to turn it's off over there turn right on. You know, so I was sitting there sitting there the hoping to the left in feet. you know well whatever <laughs> but anyway so because I didn't feel up at the TA Petro I have no free shower there right so if I wanted to take a shower I would have had to pay for it and I didn't really want to do that so that's like 13 bucks these days anymore for a shower you know <clears throat> and uh, when you're tight on money, every little dollar counts, right? So I didn't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is get down the road. I know there is another Loves just before uh, I exit New York. I know that one for sure. There might even be a couple of other ones out there, but I know there is one there for sure. So before I get into Massachusetts tonight, so I'm definitely going to pull into that one for sure, if not before somewhere, and go in and get me a shower. Yeah, I like it. Anyways, welcome to the show, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in, sticking around with me, even having a cold. I'm trying my best to make a video for you guys. And trust me, it's not that easy. All right, guys, we are yeah, now in ahead. New York's uh, state already, and... Uh, I'm going to have to do this at every single toll plaza and I'll go into where they uh, have a person there and show them this, right? Because uh, all the other ones, <laughs> it doesn't, if, if some odd reason it doesn't pick up my uh, my easy pass, oh, all of those ones, no, this one here is not an easy pass lane, so that's what I thought, I got to be in this particular lane right here. I had to do that already twice today as well. The first guy there, he didn't want to type it in. He just gave me a tag, but oh well. <clears throat> Anyways, we're gonna. I even hold it up here, and it still doesn't read it. So it's obviously giving me issues. All right, so this guy is just giving me a tag as well, so that. Uh, then I can uh, show them at the other end on where I entered, right? Oh, of course not. The two wants to fall down. <laughs> but anyway, so I got to show them this tag at the other end when I uh, exit out of this toll, uh, toll place, right? Then they know exactly where I entered and then they just uh, type it into their computer and then they got to type in that easy pass thing and... and uh, and then uh, it gets charged to penners, right? But anyhow, let's get on down the road and uh, see how far we can make it. I'm thinking I'm gonna make me a pit stop soon, though. I uh, I know there is a, a rest area or travel plaza or whatever further down the road here that uh, has a Timmy's in it, right? So I'm kind of thinking about maybe going in there. And, Having me a Timmy's coffee, yeah! Getting ready to leave this rest area up here. Uh, 
just past uh, Buffalo, New York. Yeah. <clears throat> Went in here and uh, took me a, a half an hour break, basically. Decided to go in and have me a good Tim Hortons cup of coffee. And they had a new sandwich posted there, so I figured I'd give that a try. I love chicken sandwiches, and they had a uh, chicken and bacon uh, sandwich there, and so I figured I'd give that a try. And it was actually pretty good. It said it's only going to be a limited time only, though. So that's. Uh, it's a good sandwich, but for 248 miles. I guess it won't be available for very long, but oh well. That's just how it's going to be, right? But anyways, it's uh, looking like we're going to be driving in rain all day long. That's what it's kind of looking like. I, uh, I was looking at the radar there, and it looks like that is a really thin, narrow stretch of rain. And I'm right in it. I'm going to be running right in it all the way along I-90. Oh man, what a bummer, but oh well. And later on, I think further down the road towards Massachusetts, I think they're even saying possibly uh, some ice rain up there or mix of stuff. So, not really looking forward to that, but what can I say? Yes, this is that time of the year where we get those kind of kind of weather. But usually in December it's a little bit cooler. Like even back at home, like it's uh, actually fairly warm for this time of the year. So the wife was telling me that it was actually starting to melt and everything, and that's usually not the case. Usually in December it's the coldest. You know, well, I don't know if really the coldest, coldest, but. You know, it gets pretty cold in December generally, and January is always the coldest generally, but right over December, uh, like throughout December, is usually a fairly chilly uh, month. But, oh well. Anyhow, let's go ahead and continue on cruising along and hope for the best. Alrighty guys, we've been going now for a little bit longer, and uh, my... Uh, Radar was showing that there is a little bit of ice later, right? And uh, here, not too long ago, it started getting. Uh, I started getting a little bit of ice, and uh, now it's kind of disappeared again. But there, for a few minutes, I was getting a little bit of ice rain there. So that's not what I'm looking for. But oh well, I guess that's how it goes. We still have 306 miles to go till we get to our customer and. I definitely do need to take a shower somewhere yet today, so uh, I haven't really looked up to see how far it is to that logs, but I will find it eventually. I know roughly, roughly uh, whereabouts exactly it is. Like I've been at that particular log several times already, so I have a pretty good idea where it's located at, but I'm just hoping that it will actually start clearing up. Like right now it's showing, uh, looking like it's clearing up a little bit, but <clears throat> according to the uh, radar, it's gonna clear up here a little bit and then a little bit further down the road, I'll be running into more ice rain. And yeah, not, I'm hoping it won't be too bad though. That's kind of what I'm hoping, but. Wow, to, to New York City, it's 301 miles. About the same as what it is to uh, my delivery. Ay ay ay, okay. Anyhow, let's continue on cruising down the road here, guys. We have finally made it to the Loves uh, up here uh, just before uh, Massachusetts. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, fuel up our truck. Yeah, and it's still uh, drizzling or whatever. And yeah, let me put you guys up here. Hopefully, we can do this. No, that won't work. I'm gonna have to put this down, press down a little bit so you guys can actually see me. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and fuel up and finally go take a shower. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly fuel up and then I'm gonna go park and uh, take me that much needed shower, yeah. I'm looking forward to that, that's for sure. Let's enter all my info here, unit number. 
All right. At least I haven't really gotten any ice rain, so that is the the bonus. But uh, according to my buddy, he says uh, tomorrow they're supposed to be getting some uh, snow up there by Buffalo. So I don't know how that's gonna go. Uh, yeah, I do want def. I guess I'm gonna go fuel up the def as well, so that way uh, I'm good to go, right? I don't really like fueling the def up in Canada, so yeah, I do want a receipt. Well, we gotta open up our tanks and get some go-go juice. We are authorized for diesel. Please remove nozzle, all right? Go ahead and do that then. So, let's get fuel, guys. I'm gonna have to clean my mirrors and all of that too. I don't know if I can show you guys. Let me see here. I think I should be able to uh, show you guys. But these mirrors are really, really dirty. You see that? Even that side window there. Yeah, the camera probably uh, doesn't really do justice on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and talk to you guys in a few. We finally gotten that very much, much needed shower. And uh, we also drove all the way down to our customer already. And we did not get a reload as of yet, but hey, I just finished doing a live show, so my, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is uh, starting to disappear now because I had a 36 minute or 37 minute uh, live feed there. I think it went amazingly good. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna start doing that uh, just about every Sunday or every Sunday I'm gonna try. Not guaranteeing every Sunday that I'm going to be doing a live show, but so far I've been able to keep it up I've been trying to do a live show here probably for the last month and a half. I've been doing a live show just about every Sunday, or I think so far it's been every Sunday I've been doing a live show, and uh, I definitely did one today. It was late in the evening. Well, not late in the evening. I shouldn't say that. It was in the evening, early evening, but uh, we definitely did one, and I think it turned out amazingly good. We had really, really good topics, and... Uh, I think it would be really good for you guys to also start coming in. We only had 36 or 37 viewers at the most, but hey, sometimes you might you guys might have some questions and it would be great to write them down. And then when the Sunday show comes on, keep an eye on it. You know, I can't guarantee because I have to work too, right? Though, depending on what time of the day it is, I can't guarantee what time I'm gonna do it as of right now. Maybe eventually I'll make a schedule and Maybe we'll do it at a certain time, but and maybe you guys could let me a, a, a comment down below too if you would like it at a particular time. That way it would always be, you know, kind of around that time, right? But it's always a good idea if you guys have questions, write them down. And then when I do a live show on Sunday, tune in and then you guys can ask those questions. Now, I may not always see everybody's question because there are so many people coming in. You know, or people are writing so many questions or, or, or comments, right? I may not be able to capt capture every single one of them, but if I miss yours, repost it again. Maybe this time I'll see it, right? And so I would really like that idea. We can, you know, keep that going and, and have a really good community here on YouTube interacting with everybody here on, on every Sunday, like do a live show that way. I know. For many, many months, we haven't really done much of any kind of live show, and and, uh, and I I really got going by, by Trucking Review actually fired me up by doing that, and I've been keeping it up so far, and I, I really like that. So uh, anyhow, I'm done for today. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of here, go ahead and edit some of my videos. I gotta do that, and uh, deliver this load in the morning, and then we'll see what we get for a reload, right? And I also got to redo my website because something uh, I messed something up there. So I got to redo it all over again. <laughs> it's my fault. I didn't read some of the stuff and I clicked on the wrong thing and deleted my whole website. <laughs> so I got to redo it. So with that being said, appreciate all of you guys watching. And thank you and have a great day. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.